Hello, it's you and Thomas here at the launch of Moto Active. This device, which I clearly won't do it justice because it's amazing. Um, in a nutshell, it's a music player as well as a GPS. Um, for me, it's ideal. Obviously, I can listen to music on long runs when I'm getting bored. But not only that, it tells me what pace I'm running. It can download. It, well, it tells you actually when you're dropping off the pace, and it'll play your pla your power track in your ear. So uh, in your case, Paul, that would be the Spice Girls would come on. But for me, it's probably something manly like uh, Firestarter or something like that. But it's just brilliant. You can download training programs. You can actually go on the web, and I can just say, for example, tonight I'm going to do a 5k run. The whole community can see that and can say, okay, I'm going to do the same. And you can challenge each other. So for me. The, the competition edge is just brilliant. I mean, if it purely was just a music player and a, a watch, a GPS watch, that would do it for me. But the fact it does so much more that, um, that I really can't do it justice, as I said, it's brilliant. And it looks smart as well. Clips off, you can put it, um, it comes off and then just put it onto your bike, you get a mount for your bike. It just does everything. Whenever I've done any long runs, I always go off too fast, I get carried away. But the good thing about this, it will, uh, it will keep me in check and make sure I'm not going too quick. And also I can just download all my different training programs I've done and I can just register my, my improvement over the months. So really it's almost like having a coach without having a coach. doing a lot of training at the moment for sport relief. There's a challenge in March, it's called the First Nation Home. England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, it's a race around the country. I start in Cardiff, my first leg is cycling to Liverpool, then it's rowing, I believe, to Dublin, then it's sailing, um, and it's basically the First Nation Home over a seven day period, and uh, it's gonna be tough training for it, but for me, just to have this training wise is great, but actually on the challenge, I think it's gonna be some pretty dark time, it's gonna be tough. But that's what I love doing, pushing myself since I've retired. I'm all into these adventure races and, and different challenges, so I'm uh, looking forward to it. Music's a massive part for me for training. Um, concentration wise I get bored when I'm on long runs but also when it begins to hurt I mean everyone knows what music can do it makes you feel great when you're driving the car favorite music comes on but for me like always when I've got about two or three miles to go to get home on a run when it starts to hurt I always try and fiddle around and try and find good music but the best thing about this is it will actually register the fact that I'm beginning to slow down and it will play those tracks that I prefer you know the sort of upbeat music that will help me get home so um yeah no I, I really like it and I also actually think it looks kind of smart, even just as like a timepiece, I think it's quite retro, it looks really good, it's light, it does everything you need, so you know, instead of before when you kit bag and you have to chuck in there music players, watches and all sorts, you know, it's got everything wrong. My favourite song, if I'm honest, when I used to warm up as an athlete, I'd always listen to stuff like The Prodigy, just music that would get me really fired up. The danger is now I'm doing longer distances, I don't want to get too psyched up, because obviously I could go too far, so I just need just music that takes you to a happy place. You know what it's like, and people who watch this, when you're out on a long run, it begins to hurt. Mentally, you just need to take your mind somewhere else, and that's what you can use music for. Take yourself to your happy place.